Have you ever loved someone so much that you ignored all the red flags, letting them treat you in ways that left you feeling empty? Maybe you've convinced yourself that if you just keep giving, they'll eventually appreciate your love. But here's the thing, just because you love someone doesn't give them the right to hurt you. Too often, we stay in one-sided relationships, thinking that love alone will fix everything. But deep down, you know something's off. Deep down, you know that maybe love isn't enough. Because here's the thing, you shouldn't have to question whether someone truly cares or feel like you're always chasing after their affection. Love shouldn't leave you feeling half full. In fact, true love makes you feel whole. So why do we stay in situations where we're left doubting ourselves, giving more than we are receiving? It's time to face reality because sometimes we have to face the fact that maybe we are loving the wrong people. In this video, we're going to explore why caring for someone doesn't justify their mistreatment, why it's very important to set boundaries and how to finally shift your focus back to yourself on your own healing, on your growing and finding the love you truly deserve. If you've ever felt stuck in a relationship where your love wasn't valued, this one's gonna be for you. Caring doesn't justify being hurt. Let's start with the harsh truth. Just because you care for someone, it doesn't give them the right to hurt you. Too often, we excuse hurtful behavior because we're emotionally invested in someone. But caring deeply doesn't mean accepting disrespect or neglect. If someone only reaches out when they need something or makes you question your worth, that's not love. Example, think about that one-sided relationship or friendship where you're always the one putting in the effort and they only show up when it's convenient. That's a sign that they're not respecting your boundaries and it's time to re-evaluate that friendship or relationship. Loving the wrong people. Sometimes we end up loving people who can't or won't love us back in the way we deserve. Maybe it's because we've been chasing the wrong type of people or perhaps we've been blinded by our desire to make things work. It's hard to admit, but there comes a point when we need to face the reality that we're pouring energy into someone who isn't giving it back to us. You've probably been in a situation where you kept hoping that uh, this person would change or realize how much you care for them. But deep down, you knew they were never going to give you the same effort. This realization, though painful, is the first step towards reclaiming your worth. Time to heal and grow. Moving on isn't just about walking away. It's about taking the time to heal and grow. Healing doesn't happen overnight, but it does happen when we stop focusing on the wrong people and start focusing on ourselves. This is the time to reflect on what you truly deserve and to rediscover the things that make you happy and fulfilled. Imagine how much lighter you'll feel when you're no longer drained by someone who doesn't appreciate you. Instead, that energy can be redirected towards your own self-love and growth. It's not easy, but it's necessary. You deserve to be loved the right way. Remember that you deserve to be loved by people who value you for who you are. Spend your love on those who feel the same way you do. Those who appreciate the star within you rather than taking it for granted. Surrounding yourself with people who truly care about you creates a space where you can thrive, not just survive. Picture this, instead of chasing after someone who doesn't care, you're building relationships with people who support and uplift you. That's what real love and friendship should look like. Just because you care doesn't mean you should let someone hurt you. It's okay to let go of people who doesn't appreciate your love and start focusing on yourself. Remember, you deserve people who matches your energy, who care for you the way you care for them. If this message resonates with you, let me know in the comments. Have you had to walk away from a relationship that wasn't right for you? I'd love to hear your story. Put it out there.